is Rishti. I'm 15 years old and I participated in the Codex Bootcamp because I think that women should be more inclined in technology. I learned 10 technical skills through my journey in the Bootcamp. In my journey, I learned project management in which I learned to upload my documentation to GitLab, either online through the GitLab website itself or locally through GitHub desktop. After that, I learned video production in which I learned to edit my own videos, including cropping out useless parts of my videos, removing the background from my videos and adding my own custom background through a green screen or adding effects to my videos. Embedded programming is the electronic part of my journey done in the Arduino software. I learned to code, to work with motors such as the DC motor, stepper motor, wires, resistors, and microcontrollers such as the Arduino Uno and the Arduino Nano. And I even learned to work with a microprocessor called the ESP32. I also made my business model canvas in which I explained for whom my final project is, how efficient it is, the value of my project, how I will reach my customers, and etc, etc. And here comes my favorite part, computer-aided designing, in which I made the exterior of my project in Tinkercad, a website which allows me to make digital 3D designs. After that, I used Inkscape to trace the bitmap and remove the color of my object. After that, I opened my object as an SVG file in the Fusion 360 software, which connects my entire project into a one cloud connected project. The reason why computer aided designing is my favorite part is because it allows you to work with your own creativity. The most complex part of my journey is interface and application programming. I use the Raspberry Pi, not the one that you should eat though, to create a website with an HTML file. I also learned to connect microcontrollers through the website. Phew, that was a tough journey. In computer-aided designing and manufacturing, I used the software OpenSCAD to create 3D design objects. Then I use MakerCam to put in the params and save the design as a G-code file. Unfortunately, MakerCam isn't supported anymore since December 2020. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. I even work with a CNC machine in which I save my object as a G-code file and opened it as a G-code file in the Aspire software, which is used to run the CNC machine to get my design nicely cut out. The most satisfying part of my journey. Oh, wow. When the 3D printer prints all the layers. Oh, wow. So satisfying. Anyways, I imported my design either made in Tinkercad or OpenSCAD into the Cura software, which is used to run the params for the Delta Pod, which is in this case, the 3D printer that I used. When all set, I saved the params as a G-code file and put it in the Delta Pod and they're ready to print. One of the coolest parts of my journey is the electronics production and design, in which I used the software KiCad to design a schematic for an electronic circuit. After that, I opened the KiCad Gerber file into FlatCam, software for preparing CNC jobs for making PCBs on a CNC router and exporting the file as a G-code file. Then, I opened the G-code file in a Gerber controlled candle software, setting the params and then CNC my board. After that, I soldered the board and programmed it with the Arduino software. My favorite group assignment is the hackathon. I've never had a better co-working experience in my life. The hackathon taught me that success is all about teamwork and no attitudes towards the coaches. It is estimated that global agriculture 
will reduce by 17% in 2050. So the girl code, the team I was in, provided a solution named Farm Buddies. Farm Buddies consists of a sensor node that will sense and activate the actuator node to turn on the water pump, the fan, or the fertilizer. And our hard work got rewarded by winning the first prize in the hackathon. My final project is called Robo Cleaner, a Bluetooth controllable vacuum cleaner. Designed for those who want to clean their house with a little bit of positive energy. Do you ever just feel so lazy or exhausted? or you suffer from back pain, which prevents you from cleaning, and you just wish that you could just control your vacuum cleaner by yourself, well, RoboCleaner might be the solution. RoboCleaner is a Bluetooth controllable vacuum cleaner that can be controlled by just your phone. Yeah, just your phone. I use an Arduino Nano as my microcontroller a HC05 bloated module, three DC motors, two for the wheels, and one for the fan. I coded my technical part of my project in the Arduino software. I designed my fan and suction cap in Tinkercad, and I designed my enclosure in OpenSCAD to be CNC. I also 3D printed my fan and the suction cap. And the vacuum cleaner can be controlled through the Bluetooth software. All you need is to install the Bluetooth app on your phone, connect to the Bluetooth, and you're ready to go! And finally, I would love to thank my dear coaches Julie and Theo for their support, patience, and cooperation. I could never wish for better coaches. And also, I would love to thank the U.S. Embassy for funding us. Without the U.S. Embassy and these amazing coaches, I would never be able to have such, such an awesome experience in my life. I'm actually kind of sad it's over, but yeah, I had to help, but, but still I'm sad. I hope everyone has a good day and stay safe during this pandemic. By the way, thank you all for everything. I hope everyone has a good day and stay safe. Bye!